Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. I have another baseball card opening video for you. This time it's 2023 Don Ross Hobby Box. This was given to me by my wife for our anniversary and so I'm excited to tear into this. Hopefully there's some good mojo hiding in here. Um, this is find three autographs or mem cards, 24 packs per box, eight cards per box, eight cards per pack. So I'll give you some more details in just a second, but let's get into it. So for 2023 Don Ross hobby boxes, obviously you have three hits per box, 24 packs, eight cards per pack. And they always have like, um, obviously you're going to get hollow blues, one per pack basically, but they always have like SSPs in the mix. And so there's a couple different ones that we're looking for. Hitmen and Etched in Glory are the most rare ones. Here's all the odds on the back. It's a novel of different, I guess not odds, but just telling you which ones are available, different parallels, whatever else. But Don Ross is one of the more affordable hobby boxes that you can get into each year. Uh, this one goes, I think they're right around between 120 and maybe a little bit less if you buy them on eBay. Um, but when you buy them from a more, more reputable uh, retailer, David Adams Card World, Blowout, Steel City, they're all pretty much right around 120 um, so without further ado, let's cut into it. I'm excited to open up a hobby box on here. So 24 packs, this will take a little bit longer than usual, but I'm just going to get all the packs out, put them off to the side here. Sorry, I had to go turn off the audio in the other room. I had a baseball game on in the living room, so... Didn't really want to have that sound leaking in here. So here we go. Now I'm probably going to try to scope out if there's a hit in these, but some of them do have fillers, so you never really know. But there's a lot of prospect cards in there this year. A lot of the hits are prospects. So here's the base design. Nice. It's always kind of a plain white design on the outside the back is nice so looks good mariano rivera goose gossage drew gilbert sheffield yep got a filler cool kumar rocker this one's numbered to this one's numbered to 100 the 100 parallel pretty cool card there i like that one a lot kumar rocker I think he's out for the season, maybe. Uh, Colson Montgomery, Jack Leiter, prospect cards. And we have a Burt Blylevin hollow blue. I really like the blues this year. They're nice, deep blue. They have good refractory look. I like those a lot. Cool. Nice numbered parallel out of the first pack. I like that. Let's see if we can get this open without destroying every pack. Galarraga, Al Simmons, Owen Murphy, nice little Bobby Witt Jr. We got a couple cards in this one. Stargell Diamond Kings, insert, and a Zach Veen rated prospect. Let's see what we got here. We got a Raleigh Fingers, numbered to 2023. Nice little A's hit there. And an Owen Murphy hollow blue. Not a rip roaring start here, but definitely cool cards. Carlton Fisk, Nolan Ryan, Adele Amador, Nick York, Bobby Miller. Bobby Miller's having a good season, I think, for the Dodgers. Good one there. Nice Mickey Mantle Diamond Kings. I like that. Let's get those out of there. Got an Eckersley. Numbered to 2023. Another A's. Serial numbered hit. And looks like a hollow blue Bobby Miller prospect card. All right. We'll take that for sure. And I'll put that in a little sleeve there. Put him up on the stage. I probably should have done the same thing with the Kamar Rocker, number to 100. Stargell. 
Sean Green's in this set. Wow. Okay. Kamar Rocker. I do like these inserts that I'm about to show you. That might be one of my first hits there. Henry Davis and Tamar Johnson. A couple Pirates top prospects there. Nice little back-to-back. -back. Let's see what we got here. Bomb Squad, number to $9.99. I love these cards. These look really good. I know it's an A-Rod, but that one's probably going to go on my dollar bin. So I got an Austin Wells, number to 2023. Yankees Prospect. Anytime you get a Yankees Prospect, it's always a good thing. And the hollow blue is Tamar Johnson. Not a bad one to take. I like that, for sure. Yeah. Initial impressions here, I like them. There's another filler card, looks like. Let's pull these base cards off the back to the front. Rod Carew, Nolan Ryan, Buster Posey, John Smoltz, Ricky Henderson, Daniel Suzik, A ah, nice Bobby Witt Jr. blue. Nice color match with the jersey there. That's really cool. I like the look of that. And our parallel here is Bob Lemon. A nice parallel number to 207. Guy that you don't really see too often. Why is it numbered to 207? Maybe because he had 207 wins in his career? Yeah, probably. Cool serial numbered card there. I like that. All right, I'm just trying to think of who I'd like to pull out of this, out of this uh, set, like for hits. Jackson Churio, I think he's a kind of a high prospect, isn't he? I think so. James Wood, Bobby Abreu, Ken Griffey Jr., I like that for sure. Definitely going my Ken Griffey Jr. mini collection that I've got going on. Yuri Perez, he's come up and he's throwing pretty well. Luis Gonzalez, Gary Carter, stars, and a nice Mickey Mantle hollow blue. Sorry, I'm back again. My kids had to ask me a question there. Ooh, this pack feels kind of thin. Let's see what we got. I put the Mickey Mantle hollow blue up on display there. Definitely a cool looking card. Pudge Rodriguez, nice. Nice. I, he used to be my Tiger. When he played for the Detroit Tigers, he was my guy. Until Miguel, Miguel Cabrera got there, and then he was the guy for me. And there's my daughter in the background. Ooh, a nice low-numbered Robert Hassel, number to 20. Oh, it's an autograph. That is a great pull. Wow. Number to 25. Let me sleeve this up real quick, and then I'll show you an optic autograph obviously he got traded from the Padres to the Washington Nationals I think he was part of that Juan Soto deal number to 25 sorry 20 out of 25 fantastic pull love that and the Willie McCovey hollow blue looks great love the insert there Juan Marichal base Jackson Job, Tigers pitcher Hey, first hit was a great hit. Very happy with that. Brian Rocchio, Roger Clemens, Rafael Palmero, Nick Gonzalez, Pete Rose. Got three inserts here. Cooperstown, Wade Boggs out of 249. Very cool card. That'll go on my dollar bin for the show. Larry Doby, number 2023. Another cool one. Adele Amador. I'll tell you what, that was two serial numbered cards in the same pack. This has been a pretty good box so far. Still with two hits to go. Even if the last two hits are somewhat decent, this is definitely a, a winner of a box. Carson Williams, Pete Crow Armstrong, Cubby there, 
Edgar Martinez, Daniel Espino, Lou Brock, Tom Seaver. Filler blank. Very cool. I like that Vladdy. And then a Henry Davis blue. Very cool. Man, getting some good ones here. Oh, that one's got a crunched corner in the bottom there. I didn't even notice that. No, oh, well, still sleeve it up and slide it in the dollar bin at some point. Nice Vladdy. That one's numbered to 500. Still three packs left in the first half of the box. This one's going great. Fred Lynn, Tim Wakefield, Ricky Tiedemann. Never heard of him. Robert Hassel, the guy we just got the, auto, the uh, autograph of. Bob Feller and Ricky Tiedemann, a second one of his. Hollow Blue of Lee Smith. George Brett, number to 2023. And this Robert Hassel, oh, coming attractions. Those are a great looking insert. Wow. Very cool. Two more packs left in the first half of the box here. Can't be happier. That's a good name to have on the back. Maybe we can see an autograph of his. That'd be sweet. Ken Griffey Jr., Wade Boggs, Mike Piazza, Dennis Eckersley, Tom Seaver, Diamond Kings, number to 2023. Nick York, Hollow Blue. And then Taj Bradley and Jordan Walker. Last pack from the first half of the box. You can hear my daughter in the background. Al Kaline has a Tiger fan. I like that one. Jason Dominguez, Ray Langford, Ichiro, Greg Maddox. Zach Veen, hollow blue. It's a nice one. A stars of Gavin Williams. I don't think those are numbered. Those have like a reverse stock, maybe. I don't know. Anyways. And an unleashed. In years past, these have been great looking cards. And this year is no different. Jackson Holiday is a great name to get. The number one overall pick from last year, I believe, by the Orioles. That card is awesome. Number to $9.99. Let me get another stand over there. First half of the box. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I guess it could have been a one-of-one one Robert Hassel. But uh, let's get into it again. Let's, let's finish off this box. Get a couple more hits. Marcelo Mayer. Joe Tinker. Gavin Cross, a Cooperstown insert of Randy Johnson, number to $9.99. Those look great, too. Man, I love their inserts. Paul Molitor, Stars insert. And a Jason Dominguez, Hollow Blue. I don't know if his stuff is still pl uh, plummeting like it had been for the last year or so. But uh, you haven't really heard Domi uh, Dominguez's name very much recently. Oh, low numbered something back there. Marcella Mayer, Kevin Parada, Big Mac, the steroid era, Big Mac. Another Jackson Holiday there. We got an Eddie Murray. Hollow Blue, that's going to go to my buddy John. I give those to him all the time. And a Mike Piazza, numbered to 25. I'm not sure what parallel this is. I can't really see. Is it Lightning Bolt? There's like a yellow something in the background of the border there. It looks like Lightning Bolt, maybe. Very nice. Low-numbered veteran insert. Love that. I'm going to take Bobby Miller down. I don't want to rush through this because 
I don't get to open hobby boxes very often. So when I do, I like to uh, to kind of enjoy them. Pull these base cards to the front. Diamond Kings, Raleigh Fingers, a Jordan Walker, Pete Rose, Lee Smith, and Jacob Berry. What is going on on the side of this card? Is it supposed to look like that? It's like a Statue of Liberty in the background. You got like a roller line here all down the surface. And then it looks like paint dots or something in the side. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or not. But A Bob Lemon, number to 2023. Building the Bob Lemon Rainbow. And a Juan Marichal. Hollow Blue. Looks like we have about nine packs left with two hits to come still. Hopefully we don't get short of a hit. Ellie De La Cruz, this dude just made his debut and hit a monster of a home run in his second game. Uh, almost hit it out of Cincinnati Stadium there. Richie Ashburn, Tony Oliva, Jace Young, Cade Horton. Um, Colson Montgomery, Blue Hollow, which is a cool one, but I was kind of taken aback by this one and the low numbering on it. Numbered one of ten. It's a gold autograph for Emmanuel Rodriguez. Not really sure how Emmanuel Rodriguez is, and I'm not sure if there's supposed to be that line right across right there. But that is a very low-numbered, very nice autograph. This has been a crazy box. Holy cow. Can't say enough good things about Donruss right now. This hobby box has been well worth it. Ah, one of the best managers of all time, Sparky Anderson. That's a cool card. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but... I collect manager cards from my wife. I think they're hilarious. It just shows a bunch of old guys and bad pictures. But I always put aside manager cards. I make fun of it. So, Duke Snyder. Heine Grow. We have a Brooks Robinson, the vacuum cleaner. Hollow blue. We have a Vince Coleman, number to 2023. And we have a Robert Hassel. This guy's following me. This one's number to 99. Nice, low number. The other one was numbered to 999. I'll put that behind the Jackson Holiday. Another filler card there. Evan Carter, prospect card. Cal Ripken. I collect Cal Ripken, so that's very cool. Go Morgan. David Cohn. Sam Rice. Jim Edmonds, base cards. Edgar Martinez, numbered to 46. And a Greg Maddox, hollow blue. Man. Can't open these penny sleeves. There we go. You got six packs left. This box has been great. I guess the only way it could be better is if it's like a crazy patch or something. Or like one of the SSPs that they promise in there. Um, well, they don't promise them. If you can find an SSP, that'd be great. Elijah Green, Gavin Williams, Dave Winfield, Tori Hunter, Jackson Chorio, and Elijah Green. Nolan Ryan, Stars, and a Jack Lighter, Hollow Blue. That's a nice one, too. Juan Gonzalez. When this guy was traded or signed by Detroit, um, it was not a happy day. I never liked watching him play very much. Got a Pudge Rodriguez and a Duke Snyder on the back. Bernie Williams, hollow blue. 
A Jackson Churio, number to 2023. I'll put that one in a penny sleeve. I think he's a pretty good name. I'm going to try to remember. Well, there's something coming. Something different than I've seen before. So, Luis Angel Acuna. Brooks Lee. Early win. Joe Morgan. Al Kaline. Mr. 3000, Ichiro. That's a really cool insert. Love it. I do collect Ichiro cards. I don't actively seek them out, but whenever I pull them in a pack, I definitely set them aside. Nice Mark McGuire, 2023. And a Drew Gilbert, hollow blue. Last three packs. Looks like the bottom two are the thick ones, so one's probably a filler, one's probably a hit. I'm guessing I'm getting two autographs and one relic. I'd love for it to have four or all autographs, or maybe even two hits. Ichiro Mason Wynn, Robert Hassel, Carson Williams. Jimmy Rollins, number to 2023. And a nice Jace Young, hollow blue for the Tigers. I like that one a lot. Very nice. That'll go right in the Tigers pile over here. All right, this one's the filler. Good. We got a Vladdy Sr., Diamond Kings. Jackson Holiday rated prospect, Ryan Sandberg, Jim Palmer, Steve Carlton, Ralph Kiner base. How about one more low numbered parallel? That's great. Dylan Lasco, numbered to 50. Don't know who Dylan Lasco is, but he pitches for the Padres, looks like. Yep, San Diego. And it's numbered to 50. Can't complain about that at all. And a Willie Stargell hollow blue. That one looks really nice. Last pack, hopefully, it has the third hit in there. Otherwise, I got missed out on getting one hit. Yep, there's a hit in here. So, Oscar Colas is the first card. Adele Amador. Dontrell Willis. Mick Abel. And I'm not going to look at the back card yet. I'm going to flip it over. We'll go with a Gary Sheffield, hollow blue. A nice Cal Ripken, number to 2023. And our last hit is a Grayson Rodriguez relic card. So, he's a, I know he's a good pitching prospect. Actually, I think he's made his debut this year. Um, so this is technically, I guess, kind of a rookie card. Um, but I mean, it's just a regular, put this Ripken numbered one in a sleeve in a, in a case. I'll tell you what, for a hobby box, I got how many different serial numbered cards? 24 serial numbered cards. You got three hits, two fantastic autographs. A relic, a napkin relic. I'll put this in my dollar bin. Honestly, I have a box of cheap relics and autographs. Um, unless he's, I don't, unless he's trending up on eBay, I would say this is probably a one dollar card. Um, but this has been probably the best hobby box I've opened in a very long time. Two fantastic hits. Some really low numbered parallels of veterans. I'm ecstatic. This is a fantastic box. Um, Don Ross Hobby is definitely the way to go. Obviously, retail, you can still pull everything, but you're not guaranteed anything out of those retail packs or boxes. But uh, fantastic rip. I'm excited. Thanks for watching Zach Collect Stuff. Tell me what your favorite card from Don Ross has been this year or what your favorite opening has been this year. I'd love to hear your input, hear your opinions, and uh, we can have some conversations. Until then, 
Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.